Good morning, hi and hello. It is me, Nikki B, and I am here for you, with you, for Monday morning coffee today. Thank goodness I made it in time. It's still morning here in Phoenix. So cheers, here's looking at you. Today we are going to talk about a couple of things. The first and most important, based on our headline, there is a cliffhanger at the end, by the way. Uh, according to our headline, thousands more. So in our market, there are a lot of advertisements and there are a lot of agents saying thousands more. I'm going to get you thousands more. And I have this question to ask you. Thousands more than what? Thousands more than a thousand less than the one before? Sure. Thousands more is a really subjective statement and not one that's actually provable because in fact, you only have one house to sell. So the question that I have to ask you is, is when you are hiring an agent, who are you hiring and what are you hiring? Are you hiring the best marketeer? Are you hiring the most communicative agent? And how is it that you're approaching your sale? Because not uh, every approach is for everyone. There are three ways to sell a house, at least in my opinion. One is the traditional way, which is really pricing it for the market. Two is kind of fast and loose, which is a let it ride, like in Las Vegas, where you price it a little bit lower, create this demand, bottleneck the showing such that more people are there and there is this feeding frenzy, which by the way is working very well in this market, or the I have nothing but time, so I'm gonna put it up nice and high and I'm going to wait for my unicorn. Those are the three approaches, but thousands more is a really interesting comment and not a statement that's actually provable. So I want you to ask that question when you're interviewing your realtor, thousands more than what? Now. That's the end of the base part of this uh, segment today. However, here's another biggie that I want you to think about. This is April and in Phoenix, it is air conditioner maintenance month. If you have a home warranty or even if you don't have a home warranty, but most notable, no, uh, tongue twister, most notable is that if you do, it is time to call your home warranty company and they in fact will give you a tune up on your HVAC and if you follow their instructions and requests and say what it is that you know do what it is that they recommend when if your HVAC breaks down in the summer poof they'll fix it for you or of course they may have to replace it anyway I'm Nikki B I hope this is valuable information to you today here's looking at you once again cheers thanks for joining me bye